Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, That's So Right, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be a funny video because it's something that a lot of gay people go through when they are on dating sites. I am going to be telling you guys my seven most hated things about grinder, the type of grinder people that there are. And so, without further ado, so the one thing I hate about Grindr is that the fact that you don't need a profile picture in order to be on Grindr. I know I have a cute face, so therefore I'm not afraid to put a picture there. If you are going to be on a dating site or a hookup site, put a face picture so at least that person can see your face. If you are going to be willing to talk to people, you need to have people see what you look like. Like no matter if you look like trash or not, you should let them see what you look like just in case they think that you're cute. The second thing I hate about Grindr is the over 55 bottom. Like those milfs and dills that are 65 and 66 years old hitting up young folks like, yo, what's up? You want some old booty? No, like, I want young booty. I want a young face. Not saying that old people can get love too. I'm just saying, I don't want you guys. If you have money, if you wanna be my sugar daddy, Maybe. The third thing I hate about Grindr is the no femme, no Asians, no fat dudes. Those are the most disrespectful people I've ever met, ever. For those who don't know that Grindr, just like most other dating sites, you can put a bio and you can put like your name, your social media and like things about you that you want people to know before they start talking to you. Gay people take it to a whole new level, talking about no Asians, no femme, no bottoms, no tops, whatever, this and that. And basically it's saying that they don't want any other person except for what is not on the, on the bio. You're not cute. Your penis can be probably like, the fourth thing I hate about Grindr are the teasers. And those are the people that talk to you, talk dirty, saying that they're gonna meet up with you. But then at the end of the day, they're like, oh, I'm tired, I'm bored, let's do it another night. I will literally murder you. If you got me all hot and bothered, and then you go fake me out, honey, I will literally kill you. Not even joking, maybe a little bit. I love a little handcuffs and whips and s and <laughs> Teasing someone is a whole new level. The fifth thing I hate about Grindr are the people that say, oh, I need a body picture first before they start talking to you. Like, no, you don't need a body picture. You want a body picture and you don't even have a face picture. So honey, why would I be sending you my body picture in order for you to talk to me? Like, if you don't see my profile, if you don't like what you see in the profile, then don't like me. Don't swipe left or right whatever you want to do don't contact me because I'm not gonna send you a body picture if you're not gonna send me a face picture the sixth thing that I hate about grinder are the fake accounts now we all have those moments when there's fake accounts about those people who are talking to you just to talk to you and then they send them like a like a fake a fake ad because they have be having the sexiest people on their profile picture and I'm like hey you cute and then I start talking to you and the first thing you send me is an ad? Is that what you do? I'm gonna find out where you live. And the last thing I hate about Grindr are the people that leave you on the red because they are not interested. For me, I feel that if you are not interested, let that person down very, very easy. I can do it, you can do it. If you're not interested in person, like, hey, like, I'm not interested. I think being, I think saying you're not interested in a person is way better than just leaving them on red, deleting them, blocking them. That's just stupid. That's just petty. Like if you're 55 years old, you should not be blocking a 21 year old boy because they think that you're cute. But don't leave me on red. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a very, very short video, but I hope you guys like it by giving this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. All my social medias are in the description box below and on the next slide. So until next time, peace.